All right, guys, today we are going to read one of my favorite stories, If You Give a Mouse a Cookie by Laura Numeroff, and it's illustrated by Felicia Bond. By the way, do you know who I am? My name is Cody Johnson. That's right, Mr. Johnson. And I'm the librarian here at Bowie. All right, we ready to get started? All right, here we go. If you give a mouse a cookie. If you give a mouse a cookie, he's going to ask for a glass of milk. When you give him the glass of milk, he'll probably ask for a straw. And when he's finished, he'll ask for a napkin. Then he'll want to look in the mirror to make sure that he doesn't have a milk mustache. And when he looks in the mirror, he might notice that his hair needs a trim. So he'll probably ask you for a pair of nail scissors. And when he's finished giving himself a trim, he'll want a broom to sweep up. He might get carried away and sweep every room in the house. He may even end up washing the floors as well. And when he's done, whew, he'll probably want to take a nap. You'll have to fix up a little box for him with a blanket and a pillow. He'll crawl in, he'll make himself comfortable, and he'll fluff the pillow a few times. <laughs> and he'll probably ask you to read him a story. So you'll read to him from one of your books, and he'll ask to see the pictures. When he looks at the pictures, he'll get so excited, he'll want to draw one of his own. He'll ask for paper and crayons. So he'll draw a picture. And when the picture is finished, he'll want to sign his name with a pen. Then he'll want to hang his picture on your refrigerator, which means he'll need, he needs some tape, some scotch tape. He'll hang up his drawing, and stand back to look at it. Looking at the refrigerator will remind him that he's thirsty. So he'll ask you for a glass of milk. And chances are, if he asks for a glass of milk, he'll want a what? Cookie. A cookie to go with it. And then it just starts all over again, doesn't it? Great book, isn't it? Yeah. I like that book. 